In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to continue my series on level of detail expressions. Today I want to talk about the difference between average sales and average sales per customer and how you can leverage level of detail calculations to answer different questions. So let's start by connecting to Superstore Sales, which I've done here. And let's say that we want to look at the average sales for product subcategory. So I'm going to drag product subcategory to the rows and I'm going to right click and drag sales to the columns and choose average. And I can sort this in descending order and maybe turn on the marks. And you can see that the average sale for copiers and fax is $12,993. So what that means is what Tableau is doing here is it's taking the sum of all of the sales and dividing by the number of sales. So it's just purely a weighted average number of sales. But we may have a different question we want to answer. We may want to know, okay, so what is the average sales per customer within each product subcategory? So to do that, we previously would have needed to use uh, pretty complicated table calculations, but level of detail expressions allow us to make this much, much simpler. So to do that, first I'm going to create a calculated field, and I'm going to call it average sales per customer. And the level of detail expression is pretty straightforward. What we need to do is we need to add a customer name to the level of detail, which means uh, we need a, a lower level of detail than what's currently in our view. So that means we need to use an include level of detail expression. So we're going to start with our squiggly bracket, and we're going to do include customer name. And then we're just going to do the sum of sales. Close our squigglies, and then I'm going to do the average of this. So this is going to give me the average sales for every customer. So hit OK. And now when I drag this into the columns, notice that we get a very different answer. So within copiers and segments, we have the average sale. Uh, the average sale is 12,993, but the average sale per customer is 14,680. So it's answering a very different question. So you can do lots of different things with this from here. So one thing I might want to do is say, uh, so let's just call this, let's just call this one average sales versus per customer, uh, average sales per customer. All right, and then I'm going to duplicate this sheet. Now one thing we might want to do here then is we might want to, um, we could create a dual access chart here and maybe let's go ahead and throw the average sales per customer onto the secondary axis. And on our sales axis, perhaps, or let's go ahead and get rid of the color on measure names. There we go. And let's remove the marks, or I'm sorry, the labels. Okay, so for our on our first shelf, our average sales shelf, perhaps we want to include every customer. So I'm going to put customer on detail. And now we have a dot for every single customer. And maybe on our secondary axis, we want to change this to a Gantt bar to almost make it look like a reference line. And maybe I'll color that black and make it larger so it spans across the whole thing. Okay, so there you go. So now you can see, uh, and I need to actually synchronize my axes. And now you can see uh, the average sale, which is, you can see every customer sales. And then you can also, because we've used have a level of detail expression, we can see that we have the average sale per customer is 14,680. So this lets you see, this type of view lets you see how many customers are above or below the average sale. So hopefully you found that useful. Um, and uh, there, there's a few more things that we could do here. So I'll call this view two, just for just for simplicity. But maybe what we want to do here is let's go ahead and let's duplicate this sheet. And let's say that we want the user to be able to decide what they want to show in their rows. So to do that, we could just simply create a parameter. And let's say, uh, let's call this our, let's just say, or pick a dimension. And let's give the user a couple of different options. We want this to be a string type and a list. So let's start by maybe we want them to be able to pick a product subcategory. Uh, maybe state. And uh, maybe let's do something else. What would be another one? Maybe uh, let's do, perhaps we want to do it by ship mode. 
Okay, so we'll hit OK, and now we have our parameter. So let's show that parameter control. And now what we can do is we need to create a calculated field, and we want to call this uh, we want to call this um, our dimension selected. And I'm just going to do a quick case statement. I'm going to say pick a dimension, case pick a dimension. When they pick product sub category, then product, oops, product subcategory. When state, then state, oops, messed up again, sorry. When, um, uh, let's see, what was I sent? Ship mode, then ship mode, and OK, and we can hit OK. <clears throat> and now we have this new uh, dimension called dimension selected. So let's go ahead and stick that in the rows. And maybe we want to sort this in descending order by the average sales per customer. All right, so now as they change, as they change the, uh, the, the parameter, you can see that the view changes right along with it. So we're getting the detail of each customer. But then we're also seeing our level of detail expression is giving us this, this value here as well. So maybe on this one, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn my labels on. And we can now see the value for that. Okay, so um, yeah, so that, that would be another option. So, um, so let's, let's build one more view here. And let's say we want to look at the state level. So I'm just going to double click state. And I need to update my locations. And we want to make this the United States. OK. All right. And uh, so what I want to do now is I want to look at the average sales. So I'm going to build two maps here. The first one is average sales. I'm going to drop that onto color. And I'm going to just duplicate my latitude. And I want to do the uh, average sales per customer this time on the second one. OK. And you can see quite a difference here. So, uh, you know, I could, uh, you know, so this is just, you know, one particular way you could do it. Another thing you could do is you could create a calculated field. That's the difference between the two. So I want to say the average sales minus the average sales per customer. So this basically tells us whether you're above or below. So let's take this and maybe put that on our second one instead. And now you can see that the difference is always uh, always negative here. So um, in other words, the average sales per customer. So if I go back here to my state view, you can see the average sales is always less than the average sales per customer. And maybe if I go back here over here to view two and put my, uh, or I'm sorry, view one, and put this to dimension selected and sort descending by average sales. Okay, there we go. And now we can see that it looks like in every state, the average sale is uh, less than the average sale per customer. So that's why they're all, they're all negative there. So um, anyway, so lots of different things you can do here. Um, it allows you to, you know, compare things. And um, but basically, what I've done in this case was I've I've used an include level of detail expression to add detail to the view. So hopefully you found that helpful, and I'll be back next week with another Tableau tip.